What is up my broskies, welcome back to the Broskums channel. Today, we'll be taking a look at my top 3 favorite anti-tank aircraft in the game that don't require bombs. So the first thing here is the Stuka. We got the 37mm uh, cannons, we got two of them at the bottom of the plane. They're equipped right below the wings. You got about 24 rounds of this stuff, so you gotta make each shot count. Um, and then you also have some regular uh, ammunition, you got 7.9. Uh, thousand rounds of that and you also have two 7.9 uh, MG as a tail gun to give you a little bit of defense and uh, What's great about this plane is it's a little bit more stealthy than the other Stuka where the bombs would trigger the siren Which would immediately let every tank know that they're about to be bombed and they'd all run to cover But with this one they won't know what hit them So this can be a, a stealthier option compared to the bombs of the Stuka um, and you can also try to land yourself more ground kills with it because um, you'll have more ammunition. With the bombs, you'll only be able to kill like one to three tanks maybe. But with the guns, you'll be able to kill many, many light tanks and many anti-aircraft uh, uh, jeeps or whatever you call them. Uh, armored vehicles, slight, just slightly armored vehicles you can take out pretty effectively. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty good pick. It also has that defensive machine gun which is super useful. For when someone's on your six, uh, so you don't have to worry about dog fighting too much. You're just kind of hop on the back and just light them up. Um, it is quite slow though, so enemies will have an easier time shooting you down, and especially the AA guns. But that's what the 37 mils are for. You can try sniping them out before they get to you. Although I set my conversions to 250 meters because it makes it easier to dog fight if I have to, or even just get close enough and just land accurate shots on tanks because you do want both the 37 millimeters to hit, and because you have such limited ammunition. You really want to make sure each shot counts. So over here we got seems to be two spit fires on one of our guys. So we're gonna see if we can help them out and use these 37 mils against aircraft because um, although they're not flat cannons, they can they can definitely do a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and see what we can do to these fellas and hopefully we come out alive. So uh, I guess I'll see you at the end of this. Alright, so moving on to the Hurricane Mark II, it's equipped with two 40mm cannons, which is a very strong armament, has about 30 rounds of this, leaving you with 15 opportunities to hit your targets, so you gotta be very wise with your ammunition, and hopefully you land your shots, because uh, if you don't, you just wasted like a lot of your ammo, so you gotta be very careful with it. And if you're a good shot, this armament can suit you pretty well, you could also try dog fighting with it, uh, although I wouldn't recommend it all the way, um, unless you're in like, turn fights, because the, gun, uh, the guns are situated right below your wings. So um, aiming will be a little bit tougher, um, I'd say. Uh, the reticle might not be 100% correct on where this goes, but I'm not too sure how it works. Um, I know it works with conversions, so you can set your conversions to what you want, but uh, it, it tends to be not the most accurate shots. Um, but you can test your luck with it. It's especially great for ground units as well, but because this is such a great fighter for turn fighting and stuff, you might as well see what you can do against uh, planes. And I guarantee you, if you hit like any type of fighter, it's gonna go down. Bombers, it might take one or two shots, depending on how you hit them. And any plane with a new damage model might be able to survive as well. Especially the P40C, it tends to survive most higher caliber ammunition, so you just gotta watch out for that. But any plane with the old damage model, you'll be eating through quite quickly. Um, and the plane does turn pretty well, and it is decently, uh, you know, decently durable. But I wouldn't say that durable. Um, but it can take some lighter calibers and uh, remain flying, so if you're ever up against uh, some kind of uh, AA units on the ground, uh, you should be able to handle pretty well, especially if they're lighting you up. Just make sure you watch yourself.
So finally we have the VF-110, this thing got two 37mm cannons, 24 rounds, uh, so that's not too bad. And then it also has uh, four 7.9mm uh, machine guns, which is much better than the Stuka. And also has the back turret as well with two 7.9mm uh, twin turret at the back, so it's pretty good. Um, it's quite fast as well, so it just kind of swoops down, gets the hits, and then gets out of there. Uh, it's especially great for taking out lighter tanks and lighter vehicles because it doesn't require that many hits to take them out actually. And you can even dogfight with this to an extent um, because it is fast, you can try BNZing and even hopping on the turret uh, and just seeing what kind of damage you can do. Uh, so I do recommend this plane if you're looking for uh, the best ground support or ground attack. Uh, the HG-111 I find a little bit difficult to use on this map. I mean you could just carpet bomb everything but you know there's going to be a lot of spitfires and it can be quite difficult at times. But anyways, let's just go ahead and see what kind of damage we can do with this thing. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're new for more Wings of Duty content and Wings of Duty live streams and stuff like that. We also do other stuff on the channel, so make sure you check those out as well. Finishing off the video by doing donuts at the airbase with the BF-110. I recommend you try it. It is quite relaxing after a very stressful day of crashing in other planes. But um, yeah, I thought this was interesting, especially with the dust. So yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and understand a little bit more about how these planes can be used, mainly just for strafing, but you know, you can dogfight with them too, so keep that in mind. Uh, it, you know, they're just great planes overall, I highly recommend each and every one of them. And uh, if you can't afford those like higher end planes like the BF-110 and stuff, just get the Stuka because it 37mm, I mean that's pretty good for a free plane. So just think about that guys, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.